Grillo. He's absolutely adorable. Love him to death. A crazy good monkey, but he's also a little mischievous. And I tell you what, I've always said that Universal Rock was indestructible. I guess Universal Rock has met its match because sure enough, he's been digging. Look at all of this enclosure, ripping this up. I have to replace this piece right here. I have to put this in because yesterday, literally he burrowed through the wall and could have gotten out of the cage. And then look at this over here. Unbelievable. They have to put a bowl in here because he actually dug all the way around and got to the point where all of this is dug out right here. Take a look at this. He literally dug this entire hole right in here and started digging out over here. So obviously, yeah, Brillo's happy. He's like, oh, I can dig again over here after we pull my bowl out. So what we have to do is literally clean this entire enclosure off. I've never done cement work, guys, and the only solution that I could think of this is that we're gonna have to cement the bottom of this enclosure to the best that we possibly can so that he can't dig out because obviously we can't have him digging through the walls and getting out of the cage and getting behind cages we'd be in trouble so i don't know this is going to be an interesting fix because again this is a, a diy that i've never done before first time i've ever worked with cement we're going to try to color the cement so that it matches and make it look as good as it possibly can so uh definitely going to be a challenging day brillo you are causing me a lot of headache today little buddy but i love him to death so first things first is uh, i'm going to go grab mike Mike's gonna help me out clean this enclosure off, and then I'm gonna go get a bag of Quickcrete. I've got some coloring for cement right now, so we can try this. I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna be a trip, but I hope at the end of the day, this cage is going to be armadillo proof. That at least is what the hopes are. It's gonna be a long day. Just a little wrecking ball. It's my job to get it all cleaned out. We gotta, cement work is such a pain in the butt. Luckily, Brian's never done it, so we get to figure it out together. We gotta vacuum everything out, sweep it all down, spray it down, vacuum it all out again. We gotta get this little wrecking ball into a holding cell. That's right, he's coming to jail. How am I supposed to get out? I said it up too good. All right, Brillo. Oh, you big baby. You going to jail. There you go, buddy. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh my. That's what Brillo thinks of Universal Rock. If this vacuum is Brillo, all it takes is for him to go a little bit wider and he goes whoop, right out the cage. And that doesn't sound like that bad, right? You know, our dealer gets out, we'll find him. No, if he gets behind these cages, there's no way behind them. We'd have to completely remove everything, pull the cages away from the wall, find the little jailbreak, and then put everything back into place. Now we gotta go to tell Brian that we're ready for the concrete, and he can figure that part out. Weirdly enough, I said I've never done cement work, but yet I have a bunch of cement tools that were at my house. I'm not, I'm a tool guy, so I'm not even sure where I bought this stuff, and I don't even know how to use it, to be honest. I think this is what they call a magnesium float, where you kind of smooth out the cement. I think that's what it's called. And then we have some trowels here to, to kind of do some work. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. And then I brought a little sponge in case we want some texture maybe. We ripped up all this bottom right here. So basically what I'm thinking about doing is we're gonna have to probably uh, cement up to about here, all along here. I don't know if I'll need to cement this or not, but I'm definitely gonna have to cement all the floor over here. Obviously fill all of this gap here with cement here that he can get into and fill all of this with cement as well. So basically the base is completely cement and then the sides that he could actually dig out through, I'm gonna have to somehow put, you can even see he's got a little piece over here that he's digging into here. So I'm gonna have to somehow cement up this way here so that he can't get into it. So um, I gotta head to Home Depot, buy a bag of Quickcrete, I guess and then uh, we'll mix it up. I've got the actual dust that hopefully I can match the color as close as possible so it doesn't look too bad. And then literally, I'm gonna do the best I can do to do the first cement work I've ever done in my entire life. So uh, what do you say we head to Home Depot?
wish I could tell you I knew what I was doing here. This is the first time I've ever really even mixed cement. I've done a couple posts in my backyard. I guess I'm just gonna try to make this consistency kind of like something like that, I'm it's assuming. It's looking good, Brian. I mean, I think this is the consistency I want. So Poppy Yaya is busy building over the tank over there. So we got some work to do. Let's go feed some monitors. doing here to be totally honest with you I'm just trying to cover the bottom as much as I can and get up on the sides to the best of my ability stuff doesn't stick really well to be honest with you so I'm just trying to hoping that it'll dry and it'll be okay I wanted to go up another four or five inches to be honest with you it's just that the cement won't stick I think that I you know it's just not meant for doing that right so essentially what I would have had to do is like do like chicken wire that the cement would actually adhere to but uh, obviously we didn't do that so we we're hoping it was gonna stick to this polyurea now once it dries I'm just hoping that he doesn't get behind it and kind of rip away from it. Just don't know. We're just going to have to do whatever we can do. We know now at least the bottom is definitely going to be okay. I'll smooth it out a little bit and stuff like that, but at least that'll be okay. And hopefully, as we're getting going with this, it'll just uh, it'll all work its way out. But uh, just doing the best I can do for someone that has no clue. I can tell you one thing. The universal rock is a lot easier to work with than cement. <laughs> I, uh, I would have hated to build all these enclosures out of cement, although they may be durable for sure with cement. Boy, it's a pain in the butt to work with compared to polyurea. There's no doubt about that. Oh my. Feeding time. Our boy Beetlejuice absolutely super fast. I'm gonna do a little tuggy tuggy just to act like we're in the wild. All right, we have a few more for this guy right here. I absolutely love his speed. Holy cow, did you see the way he just flew out like that? That's immaculate. Let's get a little high flyer. Bang, just like that. But let's get him back down so he doesn't run away on us. Woo, woo. Let's try to get him to like do some crazy parkour or something, <laughs> running up the walls over here. Whoa! That was absolutely awesome. Love my boy Beetlejuice. I wanted to tell you that this is just kind of a temporary thing for Brillo. Eventually, Brillo will be in an enclosure, something similar to this. You know, basically a top open enclosure that has a wall. That way people can walk up and Brillo can come up and you can pet him and stuff like that. So eventually he's not gonna be inside an enclosure that's got a glass door and anything like that. He'll be able to run around like that. And that's one of the reasons why it's gonna be important for me to learn how to work with cement is because I'm gonna make that enclosure completely cement work, right? Because Again, he's so good at burrowing out of things, you've got to make sure that it's escape proof. But I want to make sure that he has a large enclosure, at least this large, if not larger in the expansion, that is kind of similar to this one, right? But it might be this all the way around. It might be a 100% circle with like kind of this type of a thing with doors in it that people can go in and so on like that. So uh, again, you know, this has got to work until we get the expansion done. So I've got to make sure that this is bulletproof so he doesn't escape before we expand. Best little juice, but I got the slow lazy monitors today because that's what I do. You want that? Huh? Huh? You want that? Yeah. Why didn't I get the slowest ones? Three, two, one, and shift. Come on. Another one? Being so lazy. Another one? So this part here is where he actually dug out. This is where he could actually escape. There was a hole that was built right in here where he went right through and he could have actually gotten out. So we did the best we could do to get the cement all the way up here. But again, it's hard for it to adhere on this. So I'm thinking we may have to let this dry and then do a second coat here to be totally honest with you, just to thicken that up a little bit more. That way he can't get in and actually scrape that cement out. So um, I'm not sure. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So basically all that's left is I'm gonna fill this area here up where he was digging Again, this isn't, you can't get through. 
through this. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just gonna make it even so that it's all the way over. And then I think we'll let it dry and then we may do another coat just to kind of get it to a point where it's uh, as thick as we possibly can. So uh, I know this takes you know, a good 24 hours to cure and actually it could take up to a couple weeks to be completely cured, but we'll obviously be able to put him back in here within the next 24, 48 hours. But we'll probably let this dry for maybe 12 hours and then come back and do another coat and just kind of seal that because this is the part that I'm the most concerned about. Nothing else in here can he escape from, but here he actually can. So a little bit more to do, uh, I don't know. I mean, again, I'm definitely no cement expert. First time I've ever worked with cement uh, like this, so uh, I'm doing the best I can do. Uh, I, uh, I definitely try my hardest, there's no doubt about that. It's not a medium that is, I think you have to have a little bit more artistic ability, you know, whereas with the Universal Rock, you just kind of bend it around and you kind of can work with it, right? This is a little bit more artistic, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not an artist. I'm a reptile guy, you know what I mean? So uh, so anyways, we're, we're almost done with the first coat at least. Like I said, first coat is done. Uh, hopefully this is gonna be the fix for it. Of course, I'm gonna have to get used to working with cement a little bit, because like I said, a few of the enclosures in the new expansion are gonna be cement, like Brillo's, you know? So obviously, I'm gonna have to get used to working with this. So this is my first uh, kind of trip into it. We'll see how it looks when it's done. You know, I mean, this is the start, right? So uh, let me know in the comments if you, if you think I did a good job, or if uh, maybe I'm ultra critical of myself, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm excited to hopefully be able to keep Brillo in his enclosure at least until we get the expansion where he goes into his new enclosure. What happened, Mike? So, I just came back here and jailbreak again. He got out. He learned that. He's so smart, but look at what he did to our wall. That's how, that's how crazy. These guys have such digging abilities. So, I hope the cement works because uh, now we gotta figure out how, where to put them until the cement dries. Only time will tell if this enclosure is gonna be Brillo proof because you know what? Armadillos keep digging, if you know what I mean. If you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor? Hit a playlist right over here, it means the world to me. Can you also do me one other favor? On this side, you can hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.